The district attorney has granted you some time. I was praying that you got away. Why didn't you and Michael keep sailing? Jason, you could be out of the country Sam, by I, now. I heard you being arrested. I wanted to come after you, but Michael... Michael said Jody was ready to, to tell who killed AJ. Right, you know what? It, it doesn't matter. No, I, I understand. I, Sam, I tried. I did. I tried to pretend to see Jody, but Michael caught on. He panicked. He said, I, I think he's crazy, so I had I had to call Dr. Thomas. And he told you to come back? What else did he say? Nothing. He just said to come home. And then, you know, Sonny made a deal with Durant. Oh, and Durant double across Sonny, took Michael and put you in jail? Yeah. Yeah. Not the smartest thing Durant okay, could have ever you done. shouldn't be in jail. It's my fault. All you ever did was try to help Michael. No, Jason, now is not a time for a great escape. Okay? Then I will no. take any deal they offer, as long as you go free. I'm not going to let you take the blame for me, okay? So whatever happens, happens to the both of us. Lucky day, guys. Charges have been dropped. Ready to go. Oh, my God. Thank you. Ow. Thank you. Congratulations. Your freedom has been bought and paid for by Mr. Grinthos himself. But there is one small catch. Judge Watson issued a restraining order. You see, I, I called in a few favors myself. Wait a minute. You cannot keep Sonny away from his own kid. You'll have four legal rights as a father, at least for the moment. The restraining order is against them. Us? Michael needs us, Durant. You're forbidden to come anywhere near Michael whatsoever. That means no phone calls, no contact, no letters, no me? email. If you come within 500 feet of my grandson, you will, yeah, you will be arrested. Enjoy your freedom. I don't think it's going to last long. Where's Michael? Did I put him in jail? No, he's staying with Durant. Oh, Mike. That is I think insane. He, you know, he figured he, he, the situation that the... It's the way to take Michael away from me, Carter. I should have brought him back. Sonny, he was talking. Thin air. He needs help. I, 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 I agree. But you know what? We both figured that he, he was in a dope crime. I don't blame him for this. We have 30 minutes to get ready for a hearing. What, what, what hearing? I think we should file an injunction to keep Dr. Thomas from treating Michael. What are you, what are you talking about? Rachel Adair saw Dr. Thomas coming out of AJ's room at the same time that he was killed. Okay. But me, you think, you think Michael's a psychiatrist killed AJ? I think it's a possibility. You listening to this? Every word. Thomas has no business treating Michael. It's an obvious conflict of interest. Well, because an emotionally unstable doctor says she saw Thomas leaving AJ's room the night of the murder. No. Dr. Thomas made that tape that led to Michael's first arrest. And that tape was illegally obtained from the doctor's it office. It doesn't matter. Just a, for the record, A tape Durant. that suggests Michael killed AJ. <laughs> That is all the more reason for Dr. Thomas to push Michael into a false confession to protect his own reputation. Stop. No, right there. Come Just stop. On. The evidence against Michael is overwhelming. It doesn't matter what Dr. Adair thinks she saw or didn't see. Hey, Durant, let me just no, no, make a deal. No, Sonny, think about this. If Michael confesses, the healing begins. Is that what you want? Look, I got a good deal for him. I got a closed hearing, two years probation, ongoing therapy. If you lose this hearing, the plea bargain falls through. He could be subjected to a public trial. He's bluffing, Sonny. Is that, is that what you want? You want your son, you want Michael to be tried in open court? Come on, man. You sure about that? Yes. Rachel told you herself. Yes. You're going to testify? If we can find him. No if. I'm not putting Michael through a trial. 
If I lose this hearing, you're off the case. That could destroy your grandson. Then give me what I need. Michael's already under a tremendous strain. All right, look. I'm gonna bring Michael by your office. You're gonna get him to admit that he killed AJ. Once he confesses, I can move Carly and Sonny out of the way. And I can have permanent custody of my grandson. I can't believe we're back. Jason, I really didn't think we would be this place for months if even ever. Hey, you did the right thing bringing Michael home. What if Rachel Adair is right? Jesus, I mean, just Rachel. what if Dr. Thomas <gasps> killed AJ? Rachel Adair is a serious liar from way back. She probably killed AJ herself and is afraid that Michael saw her. Okay, so why, why didn't she say anything before? I don't know. Maybe it's some sort of a scam and she wants to blame it on Dr. Thomas. Maybe she wants to say that Dr. Thomas planted this memory in Michael. I mean, seriously, Jason, can you see Dr. Thomas killing somebody? Especially AJ. You know, it feels really good to wash, you know, the feel of lockup off your skin. I just, I hate being in and out of jail and my I whole hate life. I was kind of. That you were locked up because of me. First of all, I was locked up because I was sloppy and I got caught. And because I was protecting Michael, which I don't regret, I would do it again if I had to. Are we clear on that? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay. And if we should ever find ourselves in a similar situation, I want you to know that I don't want you dreaming up some deal that puts you in jail for a million years and sets me for free. Okay? okay. How about uh, we don't get arrested anymore? <laughs> don't hold your breath on that one. I won't. Michael. You had nightmares like this before when Michael was missing, but you never screamed. I was I was looking through a window into an ICU room. Dr. Thomas injected something into Michael's IV bag. I was screaming, but there was no noise. I was I was pounding, but I could not get into the room. You felt helpless, right? I mean, the same way you felt when you were in bed after the accident. Yeah, but M Michael was in the bed. Okay. You said that you heard Dr. Thomas's voice, Jason. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you were Michael in, in your dream. Uh, that, doesn't, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe, maybe in your dreams, your memories are trying to resurface, you know, in the form of a dream, and maybe there's something you know about Dr. Thomas, Jason. Like, the reason he'd want to kill AJ? I don't know. I mean, it, it's possible. Maybe the truth about what happened to AJ isn't in Michael's memory. Jason, maybe it's in yours.